Hi, my name is Kolbein, and I come from Iceland, where I love being out in nature. And it seems that most of us do. We place a sentimental value on nature, but we don't always realize the economic value it holds. And this is a problem, because our global economy generates more than $125 trillion per year in economic benefits from nature. The energy we use, the food we eat, the beer we drink, they are all directly and indirectly dependent on nature. Towards the end of last year, we saw what can be described as a Paris Agreement moment for nature and biodiversity. When COP15, the UN Global Biodiversity Conference, ended with a landmark agreement to guide action on biodiversity until 2030. The private sector has an important role to play. The Task Force on Nature-Related Financial Disclosures, or the TNFD, has just released its framework to guide companies as they locate, evaluate, assess, and report on their nature influences, risks, and opportunities. Now, you can't really manage what you do not measure, nor can you report it. To do this, companies need actionable data, and they need systems to manage and share that data with the relevant stakeholders. And that's exactly what we do at Svarmi. Over the past nine months, we've been fortunate enough to work with AB InBev to pioneer the TNFD framework. First, we helped ABI understand the areas in which they are likely to influence nature and be influenced by nature. Now, typically, this would be done by drawing a circle on a map around the facility location. But what we know is that nature doesn't fit inside simple circles. Instead, we use a more dynamic approach, and we model areas of nature influence based on nature touch points. We then make this available in our platform for people with local knowledge to either verify or edit the key nature touch points. We then use these areas of influence and analyze them against global data sets on biodiversity importance, and we use satellite data to depict nature trends, allowing us to prioritize assets and figure out which assets should be zoomed into further and defined and have defined monitoring areas in which we can help companies assess the state of nature and how it's changing in parallel to changes in the impact driver, such as water treatment, but also active restoration and conservation efforts. Our platform allows multinational companies to assess and act on their nature-related risks and opportunities at scale. Within our 100 plus accelerator pilot, we didn't just take one or two of AB InBev's breweries. We analyzed all of them, more than 200 sites, analyzing more than 15 million hectares of area, the size of Nepal. And with our clients across food and beverage, energy, and large infrastructure, we demonstrated up to 50% cost reduction of asset level nature monitoring. More importantly, we have a new method of bringing mother nature to the table. Our clients can build digital twins, like the one you see on the screen behind me. And they can incorporate ground sensor data, such as camera traps, to automatically detect and track specific animal species in monitoring areas. And we have a team of experts from around the world. And we started doing this before it became cool. Trikvi, our CTO, he spent the last 10 years in using remote sensing from drones, airplanes, and satellites to track nature. Sylvia, our COO, is an environmental scientist with more than a decade's experience, and she makes sure that we align our technology and methods to scientific best practices. Myself, I'm fortunate enough to lead our business development and heavy involvement in the development of open innovation frameworks, such as the TNFT and I have five years' experience in corporate sustainability and nature-based solutions. And we all agree 
that we need to integrate the value of nature into business decisions. Companies need to be able to consult Mother Nature without having to hire an actress. Thank you.